Hello and welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube. I'm going to talk about a couple things today. The first subject is resentment. Now, my channel is here to help us all break through fears. Um, I share my life experiences, uh, my spiritual journey, my accomplishments on going after my dreams. I've, I've had a very interesting life. And it's pretty full of me breaking through barriers, taking huge risks, and really, it's all good. Everything has come from that. That's It's all been good. Don't be afraid to miss the journey along the way, the learning experiences. People just, they think that they're failing if they don't go from here to here and oh there's something wrong no 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 you're learning you know inventors it takes them hundreds sometimes thousands of tries to get it right each one gets them closer they learn something they become a wiser more uh, knowledgeable person because of it don't miss that that's that's what we're here for not just getting the thing, getting the stuff, getting the relationship, whatever it is. Well, let's talk about relationships today. Let's talk about resentment. What is resentment? Resentment is one thing. Hanging on to the past. You can't resent something in the future. It hasn't happened yet. Well, it's all happened already, but we won't, we won't get into the, the details of that. Resentment is not letting go, not letting go. Who does that hurt? You. That's the only person it hurts. And you might be hurting the other person if you put it in their face every time. Resentment is not accepting somebody for being human, even if it's a horrible thing that they did. Resentment is... I don't know, creating your own identity around an event or a situation. It makes you a victim. It uh, makes you special. It's something for you to keep talking about, bringing up. It's something for you to use against somebody to hang it over their head. Or feel sorry for yourself. There's so many things that go into that. But it's still not letting go of the past. So you have to ask yourself if you're resenting someone, it's usually someone, why? Why are you still hanging on to that? There's some, something you're getting from it. When you hang on to resentment, you're getting something from it. If it's the martyr thing, if it's the power you think you have over that person because now you've, yeah, you're never gonna, you're never gonna live that one down. If it makes you special with the victim mode, that's a bad one. That's a very insecure place to be if you need to use that. You know, the most powerful thing is forgiveness. And I've done, I've done videos on forgiveness before and actually taking forgiveness to the next level means you don't even have to forgive anybody because that means that they did something wrong and in, in the bigger picture, we can really do no wrong. We are just human beings experiencing things and learning. So it's like, oh, you did something wrong, I'm going to forgive you. You know, well, we all do stuff wrong all the time. Forgiveness is good, but there comes another level of we're just all here to experience things. And resentment is missing the point of people making mistakes. What did you learn from that incident, that event, that betrayal, whatever it is? What did you learn from it? How are you going to develop as a person because of that situation, that, which, by the way, you chose? You chose to be with that person, be in that situation, be in that challenge, so that you could break through and overcome it, no matter how traumatic it is. It is your epiphany your chance to break through and become something really beautiful. Break past the body, past the mind, I should say the brain, and connect 
to the oneness that you are because all that stuff is just energy. And when you fuel that energy in a negative way, you are building on it. Not only for yourself, but also every single one of us on this planet. And it's time to let it go, isn't it? Who or what do you resent right now? What do you resent? Resentment is you saying, I don't think things should be that way. I don't think you should have done that. I'm not accepting that. That is wrong and I am not going to accept that experience, that wrongness, that negativity. I'm not going to accept it. It needs to be another way. Well, guess what? Welcome to planet Earth. You came here for all of that. It's like, I don't want to come to this planet and have anything uncomfortable. I don't want to deal with it. And if you brought that uncomfortable situation on me, I'm going to resent you. And I'm going to carry that negative energy with me. That is not serving you well. You know, people can get very sick doing that. That's an internalized feeling, negative feeling, that can do some real damage to you. The most beautiful, freeing thing that you can do is to release the resentment. You don't have to go hug everybody and go, it's okay you did what you did. It's not okay. They, but they have to deal with that. Let them deal with that learning experience. Are they going to break through? Are they going to forgive themselves? Are they going to maybe apologize at some time? That's up to them. Deal with your own on your own level. You are not here to get on your soapbox and tell everybody, you know, it's okay that you did this. I forgive you. I, and then you're going right back into the control mode. What's really powerful is to release it and never say a word. Just be it. And if you feel that it's necessary to release somebody that maybe you are you know, have made them feel a certain way if you've, if you've imposed your negative energy on them. Well, you don't make anybody feel anything, but you can affect them with your energy. If, you, if you've been really banging this person on the head for something they did wrong, and you feel you need to release that, and you need to call them and, or go over and say, hey, listen, you know, I'm sorry I've been so resentful. I want you to know that I accept it, I release it, I release it. You don't have to approve anything. You know, that's the other thing. People think that if they release or forgive, they're saying it's okay, and it's not. It's not saying that at, at all. It's saying that I'm not going to carry that negative energy with me anymore. I'm not going to judge you anymore or tell you that, that that shouldn't have happened or whatever because everything is supposed to happen exactly the way it is. We still have choice. We can change those things. We can make them positive. We don't have to keep doing the negative things. But the people that are doing the negative things are still learning. They're still not in the higher vibration. They're continuing in their patterns and until they break through those patterns, there will be things that happen on this planet that just aren't fair, that seem to make no sense, but really do in the big picture, the big scheme. Don't question it. Just know that it doesn't seem right, doesn't seem fair. We don't know what's happening in this lifetime that came through from another one. Whether you believe in reincarnation or not, it's possible that that situation with that person was in the total reverse position in another lifetime and that you guys agreed to step in each other's shoes in this one. So if you want to be, get on your high horse and resent people, boy, you better be uh, an enlightened being. Well, if you were, you wouldn't resent anybody. You better be darn perfect if you're going to resent somebody for, some, for making a horrible mistake, for being human, for being dense and not getting the message that you are supposed to learn from that, you're supposed to break through it, you're supposed to free your soul from that event, situation, whatever it is. This is your opportunity. You want to be enlightened? There you go. That's what it's for. It's like, okay, you think you're all that? 
let's take this situation. Can you release it? Can you release it? Can you say, I accept that you're human, you did this thing, it was hurtful to me, and I'm not going to hurt anymore. I'm going to release it. Can you do that? Can you say, I don't need to carry this energy with me anymore? It doesn't serve me. It doesn't serve that other person. When you release that, wonderful things will open up and release into the universe, and there's going to be a big <sighs> sigh, a big release. And awesome things will start to flow to you because of that. But it's, if you've got that wall up of, you know, density, that's density, is resentment. Sometimes you need to work through it. Sometimes you have to really look at it and say, okay, what is this and why am I feeling this? Why do I feel like things should never happen to me, that it's not fair, that I didn't deserve this? We don't always have to have the answers, but if you can look at it and say, okay, it is what it is. It is gone. It's over with. Move on. If you allow those situations, those feelings to carry through into your life, you're just absolutely fueling it. You're giving it power way beyond the situation or incident. Even if you have an ongoing relationship issue with somebody, let it go. Just let it go. Step away from the negativity. You don't have to judge or preach to anybody. You don't have to chastise. You don't have to approve. I approve. I'm so great. Oh, I've forgiven you. You don't have to do anything. Do it internally. Let it go. Release it. Somebody did something horrible. It's gone now. We are where we are right here. What are we going to do with this? Today is your day to release all the negativity you carry with you. I know some people, they just, they resent everything. Everything and everybody, they spend their whole day. The government, the corporations, their boss. Well, we're here in it. You can either live with it and make a change in your life, and the best thing you can do that is raise your vibration, send out positive energy, that will actually be more effective than if you pick it out in front of the White House. Send out positive energy. Be a positive force every day. Do positive things. Care for one another. Clear out the negative thinking, the judgment. This and this and this. Oh my gosh, especially now we have elections coming. I don't watch it. I don't watch any of it. It's all a show. Why watch it? It's a reality show. You can carry all this stuff with you and argue all you want. Send out love and light and energy. Forgiveness if you need to. If it makes you feel better, do it. That's a positive thing. Or just release it all. I don't have to forgive anything. Just release it. Let it go. Let it go. If I wiped out your memory, you wouldn't even know what happened in the first place. You'd be the happiest person on the face of the earth. It's you carrying that baggage that creates the negative situation. You. You are doing it. Not that person who did the thing to you. You're carrying it. You're making a decision about that situation or that person in your head. And it's time to let it go. Resentment only hurts you. And then you drag down the vibration for the rest of us. And it's time for us to band together and release all of the things that are keeping us in a lower vibration and change this planet. And it starts with us, each individual, not us telling somebody else what to do, us working on us, me every day meditating, me working on this stuff, helping each other, grabbing each other's hand and pulling each other up. All right, so I hope this is helpful. I hope if you can look at it that way, it may help you to clear things out, release it, and realize that why are you, why, why carry it around? Why? It's done. Move on. It's a beautiful planet if we see it that way.
and we're all human beings. Can we just accept that in each other? Don't have to be around it. Don't have to prove it. Just accept it. All right? Namaste.